My oldest came home with this laptop several days ago. Uh, not as a gift, unfortunately. It belongs to the mother of a friend of hers, and it wasn't working. Uh, it wasn't charging. And uh, my daughter volunteered me to take a look at it. So um, I figured I would. I'm not <laughs> super keen on being volunteered for things like that. But uh, uh, it seemed like it. it's probably a pretty easy thing to do because either the power supply is bad, uh, in which case just need to find a replacement or um, the charging circuitry or whatever is bad in this. And in which case, I think this is probably not worth fixing because um, I'm certainly not going to take it down and do uh, surface mount repair on it. And um, uh, I don't know that this is one you can even get serviced in the US. I'm not familiar with this brand, Jumper. And uh, it appears to be, I'm not sure it's one that's really sold in the US. Um, notice all the Asian characters there. Uh, also notice it says input uh, 12 volt 3 amp. So um, it's got this uh, uh, wall wart type supply, 12 volt 3 amp uh, with a coaxial, but uh, a smaller the one, a uh, smaller diameter than you usually see for a, uh, a barrel connector power for 12 volt, um, especially for 3 amps. Um, anyway, so I, you know I tried it out, it didn't work. Um, so I, I went ahead and measured the, uh, I didn't think to film any of this the first time around. I went ahead and measured the voltage out of it and, uh, nothing. So the way I did that was, uh, you know, voltmeter and, uh, uh, let's see, you know, just like that. And then for the other end, I used a, uh, alligator clip with just a bit of a jumper wire to stick in the barrel to get contact that way. And I got nothing. Uh, and I'm not going to repeat that now because, uh, this bench does not have easy access to a outlet. Um, I really need to get my office done and have a proper bench there. Um, but anyway, take my word for it, this thing is dead. So let's get rid of that. Um, so I was trying to think how to test this because this isn't, I don't think I have any, uh, I shouldn't have thrown it away, now I need it. Um, I don't think I have uh, any 12 volt supplies around that have this size on it, which I don't know what the size is. Um, so it finally occurred to me, though, that it, we did might have one, and here it is. This is a, uh, a replacement we got. I don't know if this was like a Radio Shack deal or what it was, but it's one of those kind of universal ones. You can dial in the voltage you need, and it has um, replaceable tips, so you can kind of customize it. Um, and yeah, it turns out that the orange one here, the orange one works. Plugs in like that. Great. Um, but, well, first things first, um, this is only, I think, good for 1 amp or 1,200 milliamps. There we go. Um, which you'd think would be kind of voltage dependent, but uh, anyway. Certainly not 3 amps. Um, so, but I figured, you know, I could just maybe plug this into charge for a while. It did take quite a while to charge before it would power on. Um, and, uh, yeah, but it eventually did work with this, this setup. Uh, but, you know, probably not a good idea to use use this. It's kind of overtaxing it a bit, I think, or, or could be. I don't know. I didn't try to measure the, uh, the current, but um, anyway, so I need to find an alternative to this, a replacement for the other supply. Problem is, I don't, still don't know what the size is, right? So um, yeah, I mean, I've great. I found another one that fits, but what is this? Um, and unfortunately, this doesn't have letters on it or anything. The Radio Shack ones, they have their own letter system, and they won't tell you what uh, the sizes those correspond to, but there are charts online. I think there's one on Wikipedia where if you could find out the Radio Shack chart number, you could, uh, you know, look it up and find out what the real size is. Um, but that really wasn't an option. We've had some bad weather here lately. I'm not sure there even is a Radio Shack that's in business around anymore. Um, so I need another way to measure what size this is. So I have a trick for measuring this. Uh, well, actually, the outside isn't that that hard. If you've got uh, calipers, you can do it. Uh, these, unfortunately, the battery's dead and I don't have a spare. Uh, so that's not going to help me. But I do have uh, my micrometer here. And yeah, 137. One thirty-seven. Okay. So we got outside diameter 
point one three seven. Uh, for the heck of it, let's measure that uh, orange one too. Um, that fit. Give me that there, 135, 136-ish. That one's a little bit smaller. 136. Okay, so measuring the inside, however, is a bit of a trick. Um, you can, in general, measure inside diameters with, with these, using these points instead of these. Um, but that doesn't really work on something like this. It's so small, not going to be accurate. Uh, what you really need are pin gauges, which are a set of, um, well, like metal dowels, basically, a uh, metal rod uh, in precise diameters, and you, you know, try the one and find the largest one that fits, and you've got the diameter. I don't have any of those, but what I do have is a fairly complete set of drill bits, or, you know, the non-metric drill bits, I should say. Um, not only the imperial uh, uh, fractional sizes, but the letter sizes and all the numeric sizes, you know, not just the common, like you see in like number eight, number 10, number 12 uh, bolts and so on, but this has, you know, not just uh, six, eight, 10, 12, it has seven and three and 27, and, you know, all of them. Um, and the reason for a complete set like this is uh, when drilling holes uh, to tap, um, you need precise, uh, um, uh, a precisely drilled hole for the tap to work properly. So for example, you know, if you want a, a quarter inch thread, that's not a quarter inch hole. If you drill a quarter inch hole, then that's a, 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 a loose fit. The, the bolt just goes right through it. Um, what you need is a uh, something that's smaller than that and precisely the right amount smaller that the, that the uh, tap will, will bite in the right amount and you get just the right amount of thread and so on. So for example, quarter inch, 20, you need um, a number seven drill bit. Uh, not any of the normal sizes you would get in like a hardware store set. Anyway, uh, so that's why I have these, but uh, we can use these as sort of makeshift pin gauges. Okay, so let's uh, try these and see if we can find one that fits. Um, I don't know where to start, but let's just grab one. That's oh, definitely too big. Let's go down several here. I'm still too big. Uh, 55. Oh, there we go. That is a nice tight fit. Um, so I'll set this one aside here for a second so we can get this one out. So the 56, or sorry, 54 does not fit. Okay, so 55 is it. Um, get back in there. There we go. So number 55 is 0 0.052 inch, 52 thou. Okay. And I've lost my pen again. Good grief. Here we go. 0 0.052 um, inside diameter. Oh, we should have measured the uh, this one too here. Which was it? 55. 55. Uh, yeah, that's a looser fit in this one. So this one may be um, actually a slightly different size, but definitely close enough to work. That's a pretty loose fit. Let's see if the next size up fits. No, it still doesn't. So that would be 55. So more than 52, less than 55. Okay. I'll call it uh, 53 to 54, something like that. All right, so now we do need to do the, uh, the math to convert this to metric because these coaxial plugs are usually measured in, in metric. So one minute here. Okay, doing the conversion. I get 3.48 millimeters and 1.32 millimeters for outside inside. 
Uh, now this 1.32 millimeters, that was a, a, a little bit too tight of a fit, I think. So I could see this being 1.3, and uh, this next closest would be 3.5. So 1.3 by 3.5 turns out is a fairly, uh, fairly common um, size. There's also a 3.4 by 1.3. Um, this would be too big for that. So I think this is this is what it is. Three point. I've written it backwards here. Three point five by one point three. Um, so now we pretty sure we know what it is. Now the trick is going to be to find um, an appropriate power supply with this size connector on it, uh, or to buy this connector and you know buy one of the different size and, and adapt it, uh, replace the connector on it. Um, the thing is that this this size connector is normally not used for something like 12 volt 3 amp. Uh, it's used much usually used for for much lower power. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to easily find one in this size. So yes, indeed, I did have trouble finding a suitable off the shelf um, replacement for this. Uh, several options: 12 volt, this tip, uh, too low of a current rating. Options that had 12 volts, enough of a current rating, and a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, uh, adapter tips like this, but not including the size. Uh, and I'm not sure that they would interchange with these. Um, so, not sure that was an option. Um, found, oh, well, uh, the other, there's a very common size, 5.5 by 2.1. There's tons of choices in 12 volt supplies at this size. This is very, very common. Um, and I found a nice set of adapters from. Uh, uh, from this size to a bunch of other sizes, but unfortunately not this. So I was about to get it up and uh, just buy one of these, cut the end off, and, and put on, uh, you know, buy one of these connectors and put it on. Um, but I finally uh, stumbled across the DigiKey a suitable version. Um, this is, uh, let's see, it's, it's intended for LED lighting. Uh, this one's actually 3.8 amps, so. Uh, better than the original, and uh, being from DigiKey, it should be decent quality. It's not some unknown Chinese one. Uh, it is a little bit more pricey, $26. By the time you add shipping, it's um, you know, up to over 30 So getting close to twice what some of the other options at Amazon would have been if uh, if I found something suitable there. Um, but I, I think it's you know decent quality, and uh, hopefully it should uh, should work out. So let's see what else did I want to say. Um, Oh, uh, so I mentioned that we think this is a 3.5 millimeter outside diameter. A confirmation of that, which I noticed, is some poor design in this laptop. So here is the uh, where the power plugs in. I think this is a 3.5 millimeter plug. Here is the audio. It looks identical, 3.5 millimeter. You can plug the power into the audio. Now it's not going to hurt anything because the way you know the the positive is inside of that it's not going to make contact with anything but still I think that's pretty poor design um, yeah Anywho, and the other thing I wanted to say is uh, once I get the uh, the new supply in and if it works and I can return this laptop um, I'm sure I'll be allowed to uh, keep this old dead supply and uh, maybe we can do a, a post-mortem on it It'll be another interesting video perhaps um, so if you like this video um, and uh, if you found this this tip on drill bits useful using drill bits is for measuring inside diameters um, by the way if you don't have to have a complete set like this the you, know, you might get close enough with a regular just regular set of fractional ones uh, or if you have metric ones that would probably work even better for measuring something that's intended to be metric anyway uh, but yeah if you like this tip found it useful then uh, please like comment and subscribe uh, it helps the channel out helps other people find the video so yeah thanks I'll see you next time